Okay, YouTube, I uh, got another video here, steel targets. I uh, just wanted to show you the stand that I made for my 12 inch round gong and uh, some of the things I've done with uh, some shepherd hooks. So I'm just gonna take this off the tripod and walk it up there and uh, show you what I've done. So, uh, it's a little windy out here. I hope it's not wrecking the film. I uh, just wanna show you the construction that I did. Um, this is a steel gas pipe, half inch. Got it at Home Depot. It was actually less expensive than uh, the uh, all the other uh, materials that I could have got. All the different metals. Uh, it's just it's it's heavy steel. So um, just got the um, the uh, 36 inch pieces. And uh, one thing I did is I didn't actually um, tighten it all. Um, and I'll show you in a second. I can actually collapse it. Um, but uh, while I'm here, I'm just going to show you these uh, shoot steel targets um, from shootsteel.com. Uh, this is the 12 inch, uh, 3 quarter inch uh, round gong. Uh, some of those hits right there are uh, uh, from a 308, uh, even with a steel core round, which they say don't shoot. That top one right there in the middle um, was from a steel core round. Uh, so it just left a tiny little pock mark, but really didn't do anything. You can shoot this more than, uh, you, you'll be able to spend all your money on ammo shooting these things and they're just not gonna go away. Uh, you're not gonna have any problems. Um, but I wanted to show you the construction of the, the stand that I made here uh, for that gong. Um, just went to uh, Home Depot, got some uh, chain, uh, picked up some uh, hose clamp right here and here uh, what that does is it puts a bite in it because the uh, the gong will pull the the chain to the middle uh, because it's pretty heavy so that just puts a bite uh, into the into the pipe and, and, and it holds it um, got the 45s the T so you need four 45s um, I got um, uh, a couple of these nipples and um, I got six of the um, or sorry five of the uh, 36 inch uh, pipes and then I got the little uh, feet too so it doesn't fill up with dirt. Um, I've seen some guys on YouTube fill these with rebar as well but uh, to be honest with you I think that's overkill. If you are able to take one of those out with a rifle round um, just buy another one it's just a couple dollars no big deal. Okay so pretty easy just a couple of carabiners to hold that on. Uh, no problems at all. You can shoot that thing all day long. All right, backing on out. Um, here's the uh, the eight inch round. Um, I just painted these with some uh, Hunter Orange uh, spray paint. Didn't worry about any primer or anything like that because I knew I was just going to shoot it. It's going to take everything off. Um, so this is from the last time. Uh, you can. What's nice about these is you can set them up in any configuration you want. Um, I wanted to go out to the desert and do this, but it's so windy and stormy. Uh, it's early spring here. I just uh, put it up in front of my house. But I just get these shepherd hooks. Um, I mean, I only have to buy them once. I got them from Walmart. They're less than $8 a piece uh, in 2014. So very, very heavy duty. Uh, to give you an idea of how wide they are, that's my index finger. Uh, so these are beefy. Um, one of them, oh yeah, right here. I don't know if you can see that. It actually took a little bit of uh, splash off one of the rounds. I don't know if you can see that in the sun. Anyways, um, check them out. Shootsteel.com. Um, I think uh, all in all, with all of the uh, the shepherd hooks, the plates, the paint, um, all the parts to make uh, a gong stand, um, I'm in it less than uh, $300. So really good price, and that's including shipping. Um, I live in Utah. These ship from back uh, in the Midwest somewhere. Or I think it's uh, I think it's Michigan, but don't quote me on that. Anyways, uh, they came in a nice package. Looked really good. Uh, they work great. Um, I've been shooting the little eight inches uh, uh, targets with uh, nine millimeter, and I shot uh, full metal jacket and hollow point um, and uh, 308, 556, five, and 223 at these targets no issues at all um, highly recommend them don't want to shoot paper ever again this is the way to go so check them out and if you want to make a stand like I did um, you know you can just pause the video look at the construction 
um, just go down to your local hardware store and figure that out. Oh, one more thing. So one thing I did do um, is I made it so these are all loose. I didn't really tighten it up. And so I can just fold this up. I'm just gonna fold it up real quick. And uh, this will fit in the back of uh, any car or truck. And so it just folds down nice and easy. Pick that up. Not a big bulky thing, stores real easy. Uh, forgot, I wanted to show you that. Really cool, works great. Um, I think you'd be completely happy with these. All right, uh, signing out. Uh, talk to you on the next video.